Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Now, a little while ago, a couple of months, I think, uh, Rob K sent us a puzzle called Broken Arrows, and um, I really enjoyed that. Uh, this is the follow-up, although actually Rob says this is the puzzle he was meant to be producing that time, which is intriguing. Um, and it's called the Robin Hood Incident. So let's get on to that in a minute. Um, I hope you've caught up on Simon's live streaming yesterday, but much more importantly, caught up on my video from yesterday, which was a really good puzzle where I was doing a Sudoku and a rainbow just broke out. Um, really interesting stuff. Um, highly recommended, actually. And also, of course, we have um, our new hunt on Patreon. Just for patrons, we have um, Zeta Maths, uh, the elements, no, elements of Sudoku it's called. So very well worth trying. Not easy, although it's all on one sheet of paper, but it really is difficult um, in some cases, I think. So we've had, we've had quite a few correct entries. Very well done to those people. There's no prize for that one. It's just for your joy of puzzling. And uh, for more of that, you can, of course, get our apps and uh, all the content on Patreon. And there's so many puzzles on Discord. Um, yesterday's was a recommendation from it and a very good one. And, oh, I mean, just so much going on. Our podcasts. We haven't had a set of videos sent in for a while, so there, there's a slight hiatus on those. But um, anyway, let's get on with this one. Let's have a look at the rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Phew. Now, this is this is where it gets crazy if you look at the grid. Digits along an arrow add up to the number in a circle. That's a vicious little A there. So at this point in the rules, we have absolutely no idea which arrows connect with which circles. It doesn't have to be anywhere near it. In fact, in no case does any cell on an arrow share a row, column, or box with its circle. So this arrow cannot connect to this circle, this circle, this circle, or this circle, which is really weird. This arrow, now let's select another one. This one's quite interesting because that can't connect to this circle, this circle, or this circle, because they'd share a row with one of its cells. Um, this arrow, this circle or this circle because they'd share a column with one of its cells or this one because they'd share a box with one of its cells. So it must connect that, that little arrow there with one of these other circles. But I mean, how, how on earth are we ever going to narrow this down? Oh, the X in row one, column eight is a one cell arrow from somewhere. Um, well, obviously not from those circles. So there's just the five left that it could, no, six left that it could come from. Anyway, I have no idea how we're going to tackle this. Absolutely fascinating idea. Um, it's not rated that hard on Logic Masters Germany, but then again, it's only been sold five times there. So uh, the rating may not be very thoroughly vetted, as it were, yet. So uh, do give it a try on the link under the video, which is the same link where all our apps, our merch, Sven Sudoku Pad, which is now updated with the sharing function, um, and everything else we do can be viewed. So it's time for me to start. Let's get cracking. And I don't know. I mean, I've while I've been talking, I have been looking at this grid and not having a Scooby-Doo where we can start. I mean, I'd normally go, oh, well, these arrows are in single boxes. So they must add up to six, seven, eight, or nine. But which circle do I put six, seven, eight, or nine in? I haven't got a clue. Ah, oh, hang on. Okay, six arrow cells in a box. Now, the least they can add up to is 21. So wherever those three circles are, they are, well, I don't know. I suppose two of them could be nines. It just depends where they are. 
So that's not actually very helpful. One of them could be as little as a three. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, okay. Yeah, does this matter? Five arrow, five, yeah. Over here, there were six arrow cells in a box. Now here, there are fewer, there are only five, but there are only two arrows. And those two arrows can't add up to more than 18. Now that means that one has to be on those arrows and probably two as well. Let me just try and do the maths. If it was one, two, four, five, six, okay, three doesn't, but one and two are definitely in those cells. Ah, and one and two are definitely... No, oh my goodness, no. Okay, I was gonna say one and two are definitely in these cells because no arrow could add up to two, but that's absolute nonsense in this case. There are four arrows that could add up to two. Because remember, this X is an arrow that is a one cell arrow. Which actually threatens to scupper the whole puzzle. Anyway, these three two cell arrows, they could all be one one on the arrow. So they could add up to two. None of them can add up to one. And although this could add up to one, we've just found out that it couldn't because of these cells. So, okay, the way to look at it is now, these cells cannot be ones. There is not a one in a circle in this puzzle because that can't be one. There could be a two somewhere, but never mind about that. Let's think about ones. Ones are there. The one in this box must now be here because we know it's not in an arrow, uh, in a circle. And therefore, the one in row three is up here. Now, it can't be in the circle. It's in one of those two. That's not the important thing. The important thing is it's not in these six. What's the minimum? This is absolutely brilliant. I mean, it's mind blowing. What is the minimum those three cells can now add up to? It's two plus three plus four plus five plus six plus seven, which I can tell you is 27 or three times nine. And the other way of looking at that is one arrow could be two, seven. One arrow could be three, six, and one arrow could be five, four. In fact, that's what they will be. And that's the only way to get three arrows to add up 27 is not only the minimum of those six cells in that box, it's also the maximum for any three arrows because their circles can't be more than nine. So that is a set of nine arrows. This is a one, nine, eight combination with not one in the circle. Um, these three, sorry, these arrows all need nine circles. So three of the circles are nines, and they're not. Uh, we can't rule out that many, but although that could be a nine, it's not related to those three. So that one isn't counted. That one and that one are in the same row. They can't be nines. These two could be connected to either of those arrows. Not both, because they can't both be nines. But anyway, we know now there are three nines in the arrow, in the circles. Do we know anything else at all? Okay, now two in the top row can't be in this box. So it is in one of these circles. So one of these arrows is a one, one arrow. And I don't know how that helps me at all. I don't know what that does for me. Does that do anything? I don't think it does yet. Um, do I have to focus on how many nines we can have? There could be one in this column somewhere. Um, they're, oh, they're, okay, those can't be nines because that's a 189 triple. Those can't be nines because they would, or they can't be the nines relative. Oh no, I suppose those could have that as a nine. Oh, that breaks down. Oh. 
I mean, lots of these can be a nine. Is this the right? These are all offset. These could all be nines. They quite likely are. Wow, what on earth are we meant to figure out next? What on earth do we do next? Right. One, eight, nine. So, eight and nine can't be on that arrow. They're in those R. R, eight and nine have to be in these cells. Yes, because of that one, eight, nine, ruling them out of those. Right, well, where can nine go here? Not on an arrow, because it would add up to a circle. It would need to be 10 or more, and we won't do that. So nine goes there. We've got a digit in the grid. Hurrah. Where does eight go? Not on that arrow, because it would definitely add up to at least 10. So the eight is on here with a one. So that is an eight one arrow adding to nine, but not that nine, because it shares the box. Um, one is not on those cells now. Ah, these must now be two, three, four, and that's another nine. We're going to have to work out how many. Oh, look, we've got, okay, we've got three here. So that's five nine arrows that we've sort of completed. Okay, fitting five in is harder than fitting three in, he says fatuously. So those can't be nine. Let's just green out the ones that cannot be nine. There aren't many of them. But how do we get a maximum? Right, now there are only five columns remaining, which could take a nine circle. That is, that's brilliant. So they all have to, since we now have nine five nine arrows, those five columns all have to have a nine circle. So those have nines. Now I don't know. Oh yes, I do. Out of those two circles, which one's a nine? Got to be that one because of that nine. And out of these three, I know as well because of those two nines. That's lovely, isn't it? Nine there. Right. Cooking with gas now. Not really, but at least cooking a bit. So we've got a five, six, seven triple up there. Um, we've got 918. This is a 234 combination. Now, 8 has to be down here. It can't be on that, or its arrow would add up to at least 10. Oh, and yes, okay, let's. Yeah, let's mark. We're not going to get any more 9s in circles. The other circles can't be 9s. And that's interesting. That means there is now a 1 on this arrow. There is now a one on this arrow. They can only be six, seven, or eights. Should we mark off which nines? Maybe we won't be able to. Um, right, this two, three, four can't go with any of those four nines. So let's color it. Let's color it orange. That goes with that nine. This one eight can't go with that, that, or that. So that goes with that. I don't know if it's part of the puzzle to match these up, but let's try while we can. This pair can't go with the nines in rows two or three. We will make that uh, not green because I'm using green for something else, not red because it's next to orange. We'll make it blue. That goes with that. This nine does go with that one yellow and this red goes there. So that's all the nines matched up. Now these other arrows won't add up to nine. They will Oh, and there's a 1-1 one, one pair, isn't there? Is that useful now? No, not yet. There's a 2, 3, and a 4 arrow. That's quite interesting. Because now we only... Yeah, we don't have that many 2-cell arrows left, and that can't be a 2, 3, 4 arrow. So they've got to be all the 2-cell arrows. They add up to 2, 3, or 4. Is that right? Yes, it is. Oh, lovely. Okay. So they are made up of ones, twos, and threes. Um, one of them is one, one. 
One of them is 1, 2, and the other is either 1, 3, or 2, 2. I might... Uh, yeah, that I can be less glib about that, can I? No, actually, I was going to say one of them must be 2, 2, as you can't have 1s on all of them, but actually, if you had 1s in those positions, I think it would work. So, I'm not making any assumptions, but we now have 2, 3, and 4. In fact, why don't I mark them in green? I don't know which is which yet to go with those, but I know they match them up. So, I have four circles left, which represent the three three-cell arrows and the one one-cell arrow, and none of them are nines. Um, yeah, okay, so these cells are from five, six, and seven. Um, it's not that helpful. One and eight are in those. Oh, so maybe it is five, six, or seven on an arrow that can't add up to more than eight. Yes, no. Could those both be ones? I have a feeling they couldn't be. That would rule these cells out from being ones. Um, and then you could have one, 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 two, but this could neither be three, one, nor two, two. So no, that's not possible. This can't be anything but a five with two, one on its arrow. And now these cells are getting very restricted with ones, twos, and threes. We've got a one, two, three, triple. In fact, one of them is a, th one of the green cells is a three. So one of those is a one. And now we know there's there are four ones to fit in on the arrows, on the on the two cell arrows. One of them is a three one arrow, so the others are clearly a two one arrow and a one one arrow, and that makes four ones. And I think I worked out there was only one way of fitting in four ones in this combination. It has to be those two are ones. Let me just think about this. I don't want to make a blunder at this point. And then one there and one there. Now, is there any other way of doing it? If those two... Yeah, the, the problem with either of these two being ones is it rules ones out of both of the other cells. So that's it. Those two are ones. That's a one. That's a one. This has become a two, so that's a three. And that's a two. Um, this isn't three and this isn't two. So I can't undo the green coloring yet because I don't know how the two, three, four break down up here. But this has become a one and there is an eight arrow somewhere amongst these four. Unsurprisingly, there might well be another. Ah, this now in this box, the minimum for those is one, three, four. So there is another eight arrow and it's down here. So let's mark the eight arrows in some color for now. I haven't got many left, but let's go with dark gray for eight. And now one of these diagonal pairs are eights. And what this means is that this arrow is either seven or six. And this one could be seven, six or five. But there is a one on this. There's now a two on it since it's either seven or six. Now, what else can we do with the ones that we've placed? Actually, we've got them all in the middle rows. There's one there. Ah, we, we know what's happened with eight and one up there. So that means there is no one here. This, except me. This is a one. This is either two, three, or two, four. Those aren't twos. So these aren't sevens. That's the tiniest little deduction in box one. This is not a one. That's not a one either. So we know where one is on this eight arrow. We've also got, that's not a two. We've got two, three, four triples or a three, four pair here. We've got a two, three, four triple there. I don't know how to use it, but it exists. Okay, let's keep going. Come on. This is, this is a very interesting puzzle, I have to say. Right, that's not a five. These are, these are from six, seven, and eight. They definitely include an eight. Um, these include a two, I can't use that. There is a two in one of these cells. Oh, that eight, one pair has been resolved. Um, so these are from five, six, and seven in column eight. 
Um, what else? Five, one, three. Oh, it's one of these puzzles where you just keep having to find stuff. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Since I know that there are two eights in those cells, I'm going to corner mark them. They do act as an X-wing. So, for instance, possibly the only place where that helps is in column four, where that now can't be an eight because one of those circles is. So we can fill in eight there. I don't think it gets us very far with anything else but I'm currently taking small victories. Right, five, six, seven, eight in box nine gives us a quadruple in column seven. So this is a two, three, four set. That one's not two, that one's not three. Eight is here somewhere, so that's not eight. Slow progress. Do we know? about this, no, and we don't really know about that at all. I suppose these are from five, six, seven, and eight again, and we might, we might yet find some sort of quadruple going on with five, six, seven, eight somewhere. Although the odds are a bit against it at the moment. I'm still, ah, oh, that can't have a five in. Sorry, I've only just seen that. So. It's either three six or two seven. That's not actually all that useful. Um, oh, these broken arrows. They are not easy. Nines, I haven't thought about those for a while. What are the positions for nine in some of these boxes? Oh, lots of little funny dinky L's. Doesn't help place them, I don't think. I mean, I am surprised how far you can get with this rule set. It, it is just not easy. Um, what else have we got looking across, maybe? One, two. Oh, of course, am I missing? Yes, that can't be the two, because it's in the same column. I forgot this column thing. Oh, Muppet Man. Um, right, that can't be, so this cell can't be a two. So the two is here. And that relates to these, so, I don't know, we're, we're gonna have to replicate some colors, so I'm gonna go with orange there. Um, now, that can't be the four arrow because it's in the same column. So that is the three arrow. So that gets us another digit. Um, the three arrow goes with that one and two. Let's make that yellow. And there we go. So the four is green. Right, now has that given us anything? Yes, it gives us a two here. Oops, a two there. That gives us a two there. Um, three, three, yes, three here. That makes this a four on the big gray arrow. So that becomes a four. So we now need a seven and it has to be not in any of these circles because of the rule that I forgot. So seven goes there, eight in these corners. This one is not eight, but can still, it relates to that and it's five, six or seven, I think. I think that must be right, but I don't know how to determine which yet. Right, let's carry on. Three here. Uh, so that's not a three and that's not a six. We're, we're nearly there with that. This can't be a four, that can't be a five, that can't be a three, that can't be a six. Narrowing these down one possibility at a time. Ah, six and seven are resolved here now. And now we've got one of these arrows. So three, six goes with nine there, that's fine. This is now not three, six, and this is not three, six. We can also take five out of there, four out of there. Still not fully done. Um, this is a five, last one in the column. One, five, seven, two, three. So we get an eight in one of those cells. Three, two, one, eight. We get a five in one of these. 
That's not eight. Two, three, eight, seven, three, nine, one, two, five. That's four or six. So five is in one of those cells. Uh, and one of these. One, four, two, three. Eight has to be here in box nine. So it's here in box... Sorry, it, it was there in box seven, so it's here in box nine. Then it's in one of these two positions, and that's just a horrible X-wing that I can't resolve. Um, bother, bother, bother. Now, what about these nines? Right, nine is now in one of those two cells. So one of those two cells... Still any of those three curses. Two, three, eight, one, nine. One of these is a four. Oh, this is so <laughs> close to being resolved. Um, no, we've got more to do still. Eight, six, one, three. I, I mean, I say it's close to being resolved. It may not be. I'm not feeling wildly confident. That's five, six, or seven. So if this was two, seven, that is five, six. And we've got nine, no, nine, two, seven, eight, one. This is a four, three, then. If that's four, five, that's six, seven. And this is two, three which is harder to do, but there's definitely a three there. Eight, four, two, one, three. There's definitely a six somewhere here. Oh, so one of these is a six. Yes, that's fairly clear. Oh, I think I'm being very slow here. I'm missing something, but never mind. One, five, two, seven, three, eight. Um, oh, those can't be a four. Right, so the four on this arrow is placed. Doesn't do anything, does it? Yes, it does. It makes this a two and a seven there. So that nine has gone with that one. That's fine. This is now four, five, and we can fill them in. Box one and two are done. Right, that is now a six, seven pair. This has become a two, three pair. Which miracle of miracles we can fill in? Three, two. Seven goes there in box four. That's nice. Four goes here. That fixes five. Got a nine six pair. No, nine five pair. <sighs> Panic. Six nine pair there. Now, some of this must read across. That's become a three. That's a four. That's a two. Four in one of those two, forming an X wing with those. That can't be seven. Oh, this has become a six. Three, seven, eight, two, six, one. We've got four, five, and nine to place in the central, no, in the central column. Nine, one, eight, two, three. We've got four, five, six, seven across the bottom. That is four or five. What's going on down here? These are from five, six, seven, and eight. Eight, four, nine. I'm going to pencil mark everything now because I'm still struggling to see what we're achieving here. Um, let's get rid of the corner marks where we can as well because I'm not sure that they're helping anymore. Three, two, eight, one. They've done their job. I'm grateful to them. But time to move on. Four and five. That's the last corner marks we've got. So. Three, seven, eight, that's five or nine. We are. Ah, three, seven, eight, yes. So is that. Right, so that's a pair. So that's not a five. So that's not a five, because one of those is. Um, oh, don't stop there. Four, four, this is six or seven. Um, two, five, one, three, eight, four. That is six, seven, or nine, and this one is four, six, or seven. So, what's going on down here? Five's in one of those two cells. 
The fives and one of those and one of those. I cannot see it. Um, okay, let's remember this relationship between that circle and that single cell arrow because it's got to be important now, hasn't it? Somehow. Oh, yes, this can't be a five now, of course. It's a six, seven pair there. So that's become a five. Is that going to do it? Doesn't feel like enough. Five there, so we get a five here. Ah, oh, and it didn't do it. It didn't finish off the fives. One of those is a seven now. We've got a six, seven pair up here. Ah, so maybe I can colour the sixes and sevens, because I've got a few around now. Let's colour... OK, let's take out all the rest of the colouring. Because I don't need it anymore, I don't reckon. I mean, basically, I've done it. I didn't, didn't finish it off, and I should have done. But anyway, those are the same, because that's on an arrow. So they can be purple. This one can be green, and that one can be green. This one is green. Um, oh, come on. Oh, this doesn't do anything. Oh, no, purple is six or seven and is here. So that's green. So that's green and is six or seven and can't be four. Is that some form of absolute magic? Four there, five here. I think it is, you know. I think this is absolute stellar broken arrow colouring magic. That's purple. I'm going to keep going with this. Purple there. This is a nine because it's not purple or green. That fixes the central box. That fixes this cell. Six here. Oh, I love it. Suddenly green is seven. Bingo. Purple is six. And one pair to finish off. What a magnificent puzzle, Rob. That is an achievement. Look at that. Wow, that's such a weird rule set. It's one of those, normally Fistemafel is the guy, I think, who invents a, com a rule set or a combination of rules and then presents the perfect puzzle with that straight away. Normally somebody creates an interesting rule set and it goes through four or five people or attempts before you get something that's just right for that. Fistemafel does it first time every time in my opinion, but this is pretty similar from Rob K. What a fantastic puzzle. So clever. I mean that really is a bit of arrow magic. Um, I don't know if the Robin Hood incident is as famous abroad as it is in the UK where Robin Hood, the uh, Rebel archer is meant to have at some point won an archery competition by splitting the arrow already in the bullseye with his own. But I think that's what this is about. And I'm sure it's about this arrow here, which kind of splits the whole puzzle wide open. Fantastic. Loved it. That's really good. Hope you enjoyed that one. I can't believe you didn't. Thank you so much for watching us as always. And I hope to see you again soon next time. Bye for now.